when is the best time to reward a referral and what should you actually send somebody that sends you a referral my name is Nick Carpenter welcome to the channel it's probably like a button around here you can click to subscribe and get all the crazy content that I'm putting out let's talk about when you should be rewarding a referral because in the in the mortgage business and probably in other industries as well maybe real realtors things like that I tend to see that loan officers reward a referral at or after closing, right? And if you think about that, when somebody sends you a referral, number one, it, you know, it's the it's the best type of customer to get is a referral where there's already some authority and trust that exists there. A referral is significantly better than an internet lead. So if we think about when is the best time to reward a referral, it should be immediately because the thing that you want to reward is the action of referring you the client, not what happens with the client long term because ultimately the person that refers you or refers you a deal or refers you you know sends a referral to you they can't control anything except for sending you the referral whether the person wants to talk to you uses you does a mortgage application qualifies or can't qualify or whatever the situation is none of that you know the the person that referred doesn't have any control over any of that we want to reward the action of referring you the customer. So what you can do is as soon as somebody refers you a deal, you send them a note card, you know, just a little personal note. If you have note cards of your own, great. If you need them, you can go get, you know, pretty generic cards at Dollar Tree, like eight for a dollar or something like that. And uh, we're going to send a note card to them. Real simple note. Hey, thank you so much for thinking about me. Your referrals mean the world to me. I hope you win a million bucks. Little signature, right? No business card is necessary unless you want to throw in a couple extra cards for them. Um, and all we're going to do is we're going to add in a lottery ticket, a little $1, $2 scratch off. If you're keeping track of your referrals and you know, you know, this person has sent you a ton of referrals, maybe they're worth a few scratch offs or a $5 scratcher or 10 or $20 scratcher, whatever that looks like, right? But the truth is that you can get enough um, loyalty from people through just a one or two dollar scratcher. You don't have to put a bunch of money out, especially because the truth is we don't know what's going to happen with the referral. But you need to reward the referral right away so that the person has a desire to send you another referral. So just remember that. Don't wait until the closing and then send a big gift. Send a small gift right up front, right when they send the referral. If you want to reward them bigger later because the closing actually occurred, that's awesome. But remember, we want to reward the action of the referral, and that's going to take an immediate gift. See you next time.